good, entertaining, and it tastes like Eastwood. Hey guys, this is my review of Sully. I saw this a few days ago and I wanted to see it in IMAX, however I didn't get the chance, so here's my review for it anyways. I have a huge interest in avionics and NTSB investigations. I watch Mayday all the time, so when I heard that they were finally making a film about the miracle on the Hudson, and it was going to be directed by Clint Eastwood and have Tom Hanks in it, I knew three things for sure. Tom Hanks would do a great job as Sully, Clint Eastwood was going to dramatize <laughs> a little bit of it, and the CG was going to be uh, okay. And all three are right. This film, basically, if you've ever seen a Clint Eastwood historical film, you'll know that they're completely full of crap. The only time that... This is probably one of the most... One of the best portrayals of history he's ever done. If you watch American Sniper. I did a review on it last year. I said it was a good film narrative-wise, but I knew that a few things were complete crap. So, watching this film, the NTSB investigation is a little bit over-dramatized. Apparently, it's, it was a lot more clear-cut than what actually happened in this film. However, the plane crash itself is dead on, and it shows how many people were involved with the event. Not just Sully, not just his co-pilot, not just the crew and the passengers, but also the ferry workers, the, uh, the lifeguard cops, everything. Everyone came together to get everyone off that plane. So as for the film itself, the narrative is probably one of the most interesting things of this film because we start actually after the plane crash happens and we keep on reliving these moments and we actually see Sully having these kind of flash nightmares. And one thing that a lot of people complained about is that we see the plane crash technically three times. And the reason why is because we are reliving, we are exact, we are in Sully's mind. We are reliving this plane crash. We are going over and over to see whether what we did was right or not. And I actually really enjoyed that aspect of the film. I loved seeing the different angles the different perspectives from different people about the plane crash so that was something that I really thought was a great part of the film and something that I, I understand that some people may be a little bit annoyed with why you would see the same thing three times but we're seeing it from different aspects each time Tom Max is fantastic as Sully you really get into his mind you really get to see a guy who is questioning what he does but he still believes what he did was right and we see Aaron Heckart who just follows along. I, I I was so happy to see two of my favorite actors, Aaron Eckhart and Tom Hanks in the same movie together and being directed by Clint Eastwood who is one of my favorite directors because he's one of the hardest working guys in the entire film business. And as the film progresses, we see Sully kind of really come to terms with what he did, and he realizes what he did was right, even if the NTSB is going at him for saying that he was wrong. Also, Skyler's in it! She's still kind of a bitch, though. Sully is a very good representation of the guy himself. It is totally made in, uh, to pay homage to what he did, and sure, while the investigation is quite, quite dramatized, in the end, the film is about what the guy basically pulled off the impossible and he was able to save everyone on this plane despite the fact that he had lost two engines at less than 3,000 feet. In the end, I'm gonna give Sully a six out of seven. I really enjoyed it. It's probably a little bit of bias for me because I love avionic films, talking about avionic history, but I think this was really well done. Eastwood, while he does dramatize the NTSB investigation a bit, still gives it a good narrative flair, as he always does. And I just really enjoyed this film. It's short, too, which is something I think this is probably the shortest film that Clint Eastwood has done in his entire career. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. Uh, yeah, I would say go and watch it. It's a very entertaining film. At least for me, anyways. See you guys later.